Have you ever wondered why things move or why they stop moving? When you kick a ball, open a door, or carry a bag of groceries, something invisible makes that happen. That something is called force. Hi, amazing! This is Surbass of Surbass TV, and I will be your guide in exploring the world of science. Are you ready to learn? If you find this video helpful, please do not forget to subscribe to this channel. Do not forget to like, share, and comment hashtag AgAmazing. Let's go! A force is a push or pull acting on an object. Forces can make things move, stop, speed up, slow down, or change direction. In simple terms, Force is a push or a pull that can change the motion or shape of an object. Forces are happening all around us. Every time you walk, pick up a book, or even when the wind blows. Let's take a closer look at the two main kinds of force, push and pull. A push is a force that moves an object away from you. It makes an object go forward or outward. In this illustration, the boy is moving the box away from him. Hence, it is moving forward. Examples of a push are the following. Pushing a shopping cart. Closing a drawer. And kicking a ball. A pull is a force that moves an object toward you. It brings an object closer or causes it to move in your direction. In this illustration, the object is moving closer to the boy's body. Examples of pull are the following. Tagging a rope in a game of tag of war. Opening a door. And drinking water. Both pushing and pulling are ways we use force every single day. A newton with a symbol N is the unit used to measure force. It is named after the great scientist Sir Isaac Newton. Sir Isaac Newton studied how objects move and discovered that a force is needed to change an object's motion, to start moving, to stop, or to change direction. Forces are measured using a spring balance or force meter. When you pull on the spring, it stretches. The more it stretches, the stronger the force. For example, a small stretch might show a weaker force while a big stretch might show a stronger force. That's how scientists measure how strong a push or pull is. The scale on the spring balance tells us exactly how strong the push or pull is. In this case, the force exerted on the object is 2 newtons. Forces are essential in our daily living because they make things happen. Here's why force is important. It starts motion like when you push a ball to roll. It stops motion like when you hit the brakes on a bike. It changes direction like when a ball bounces off the floor. It changes shape like when you squeeze a sponge. It keeps us on the ground thanks to gravity a natural force. Without force, everything will stay still. Nothing would ever move. So the next time you push a door, pull your backpack, or kick a ball, remember you are using force in action. This is Sir Bass of Sir Bass TV saying, keep asking, keep exploring, and stay ag-amazing. See you in the next lesson.